Hey guys, welcome to the top three Unity assets for October 2019. Now, yeah, again, I apologize for this one being slightly delayed. All in all, it's always free assets, so everybody loves some free assets. And recently I did make a Patreon, so if anybody in the past or the future has ever thought they wanted to support the channel, be sure to look on there, but by no means is that a requirement, and I'll have more stuff in the future to give away for free and lots more to come. So number one is the Easy UI Styles Lite, and it's a light version of a bigger pack, and it supports both text and images styles for specifically Unity GUIs and TextMess Pro styles. So this allows you to have quick development and iteration of specifically GUIs in Unity, and you can define the styles of the text and the images, and you can change the different UI elements in a specific style manager within the component itself. And it has a simple editor extension which gives you control over all the specific features that you want to see without you seeing the other things that aren't really relevant to you because you want to control the style and the things specific to you. The next one is the Tiny Platformer Forest Asset Pack. It's to help you create a little platform world with monsters and a green forest. And it includes a bunch of PNGs with tile sets of 16 by 16 with ground and background tiles with three different background layers, 10 scenery props and characters with idle, walk, jump, fall and hit with three different specific enemies. The next one is the NV job FPS counter and graph. This is a small little FPS counter that has a buffer which stores the values and you can have a look at the graph which is given along the way so you can see the peaks and troughs within it. There's a coroutine which is responsible for drawing the graph and it's only called once on a wake so the it's fairly optimized and won't really bog down performance so if you're looking for a simple FPS counter this might be just for you. The next one is the simple menu. So this asset is specifically designed to have an easy way to create and design your own very uniform basic menus. So it has some custom components made such as a progress bar that supports filling the width and the height of an image that you might have. And it has support for TextMess Pro. So it comes with specific windows and menu prefabs including a main menu, pause menu, confirmation, loading window and settings, several different prefabs for the different UIs. It's got all commented and manageable code and it's got an animation system for the different tabs and groups that you can use. And the next one is the Easy Profile System. So this is a plugin which allows you to integrate a profile system into your project. It uses Firebase as a backend and you can easily register your users and manage their data and you can just have a drag and drop solution that the user manager can extend the logic really easily. You can set this up in a few simple steps with the registration and login system, with email verifications, you can restore passwords, you can save credentials, you can have a user profile, add nicknames, and lots of different event system specific things like checking when a user's logged in, registered, and all great things like that with a whole bunch of documentation to go with it. The next one is something called Pixel Adventure 1, not related to the one that I've just shown you, but it has a bunch of graphics and images with the demo above with four different characters, 15 style of traps and 12 tile set combinations with other elements of fruits and boxes and things to go along with it. And the next one is something called camera fade and this uses a simple class to fade the camera to a specific colour. So if you're looking to fade in and out of a scene, you can just call something called camera fade dot out and it's its own method with no shader and you can customize the fading color, the duration, you can reset the fading, use a fixed or proportional duration, and you can receive callbacks to actually end the fade. So it's quite a flexible little system. Next one is the HDRP furniture pack as a set of pieces of furniture, which includes a plant table, chair, books, sofa, and some cushions just to um, easily decorate a scene. The next one is the simple button set note one and it's a whole host of different buttons and controls for a mobile styled themed menu or user interface and it includes two types of specific buttons with round and long and it has toggle radio slider input 
and multiple different sizes for each with 21 icons exported in four different sizes from 32 to 64, 128 to 256 pixels. All icons are white so you can change the colour as you can see in the background that it's yellow so you can change these to whatever colour you like. And last but not least is the Toon Gas Station and this is a set of, as it suggests, it's a free add-on for the Toon series and it's an actual package of low poly style assets which includes six different buildings and billboards with a gas station theme, four new vehicles, 10 props and industrial themed assets, 13 road and road related items, 12 trees and vegetation props, and with any mobile device, the models uh, use really small 1 to 8 by 1 to 8 textures. So be sure to check all these assets out for October 2019 and all the ones coming up and the ones that you've seen in the past. So there's a fantastic set. And as I said at the beginning, if you're interested in supporting the channel, please take a look at the Patreon. But if not, don't get to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.